Hello everyone. Hey everybody. And welcome to a very special Mother's Day episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. And we wanted to take a quick minute to wish our own mums and mothers and moms happy <laughs> Mother's Day. Um, did you know it's actually not Mother's Day in England? I know. Mother's Day in England is actually earlier. It is. It's, it's around yes. Easter time. But even so, I, my mum gets two uh, Happy Mother's Days um, because she'll be getting <laughs> another one today as well, all the way from America. Um, but we also wanted to take a minute just to wish all you baby mamas and pet mamas and anyone yes. out there that's a mother a very, very happy Mother's Day too. Yes. Um, you all are extremely special to us and to everyone else. Um, and, um, you know, it's really funny. We say this on our live chats all the time, but we feel like you guys are an extension of our own family. And so in a lot of ways, we feel like we've got a lot of mums because you guys <laughs> send us such motherly comments all the time. True. So, um, yeah, it's, um, we, it's, you guys are very special to us, so we really wanted to say Happy Mother's Day to you all, and you're very special to us, and this is your special day. That being said, um, we've got some fun pause for you. We do. Um, I'm going to be breaking out, or we're going to be breaking out, yeah. the prison pour paints again. Um, a little bit of hot orchid for Mother's Day. Ooh. I know, how special. Um, <laughs> and it's a really, really fun color. Um, and we're really excited to use it. And I'm gonna yeah. use it in a color palette that I've used once before. So I'm really excited to see what this comes out. And I'm gonna use a flip cup. A flip cup? Yes. Yes. What are you doing? Um, I think I'm gonna do a straight pour. Huh, you don't do yeah. a lot of them. I don't, I don't. That's why I think I'm gonna do it. Oh, that's really interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, mm. I like that a lot. Mm. All right, guys. So, um, happy Sunday to you all. Yes. And um, please, if you haven't, like and subscribe. That we, means everything. It does. We'd really appreciate it. And why don't we get to this? Yeah, let's get to pouring. Let's get pouring. We will see you at the table. Thanks, everyone. Hey, guys. It's Jeremy here, and I'm going to just jump right in and introduce my colors to you because I am so excited about this. And we've got some wonderful colors. And we have some wonderful colors. Um, we have... Lee's favorite color. Mm -hmm. It's by Amsterdam. It's this blue gray. Grayish blue. Grayish blue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's we have. Blue and it's got gray and a blue in it. Yes. So. Golden smalt hue, which I love. It's just a really, really interesting, like, purpley it blue. It is. Color. It yeah. is. Um, we have this quinacridone blue violet by Liquitex Basics. Thank you, Mina, for introducing us to that color. I know. Something that we absolutely love here. This. Um, Hot Orchid by Prism Pour. And they have these new containers that are just really interesting because they had these like little tubs before and now they have them in here. And uh, yeah, this is such just an incredible color. So Can't wait for you guys to see it. We haven't physically used this yet, but a couple of observations. First off, the tub is a heck of a lot easier to get the paint out of. Yeah. And secondly, it's a lot more of a runnier consistency mm. in the tubs it was very much like nail polish almost it was really really thick now that's great but you can't use a lot of pouring medium to thin it down yeah to the same consistency as your other paints yeah now it's just a lot more workable so if there is a new recipe i'm really excited to use it and now we have deco arts metallics 24 carats excellent excellent Okay, let's get to pouring my cup. And what technique are you doing again? I'm doing a straight pour. Oh, okay. Yes. You excited to go straight? <laughs> oh my gosh, you're cracking me up. I know. <laughs> Smalt hue first. Smalt hue first. Okay. In with the hot orchid. Now you can see as this drips down the side of the cup there just how of a different consistency it is. If you've ever used it before, we haven't thinned this out with anything. No. So yeah, I'm really excited to see what happens with yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Orchid. Touch of gold. Then we're gonna go with this. Love that color. Right. Yay. We're using my favorite. I 
Then let's go back to this one. Now I had comments about this off the channel, but Jeremy is the one out of the two of us who likes to wreck his rings and he's very much I about know. the chaos, unless he's laying a cup. So the more astute of you out there will notice that Jeremy lays his cup in exactly the same way. He never changes the colors around. He doesn't mix up the way in which he layers his colors. <laughs> he puts them exactly the same way. It's really interesting. I like that. What can I say? I, there's nothing wrong with it. It just it makes me chuckle. Then I want this one. It's funny, I can already see that hot orchid interacting with I the know. gold underneath. I think I'm done. I think that that's enough paint. Okay. Don't you? Because it's a 16 ounce cup and that's at least 11 ounces. Okay. Let's yeah. do this. Let's do it. Now I am going to have a base coat of gold. I'm excited. Yes. It's not often that I see you use gold like this way. I so, know, yeah, I know. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour my base coat down and then uh, come back whenever we uh, start to pour. Excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, I have my uh, base coat down here, so I'm going to start pouring my straight pour. Straight pour. Save, good save. Beautiful. Seven out of ten. Thank you. It's a little off to that side, but You'll it's okay. It back. All right. What time is it? It's tilting time. Tilting time. Let's do this. All right. Yeah, let's do this. Um, I'm going to actually bring it back this way.
Okay guys, so after fiddling and playing around with it, um, I love the negative space of the gold on here. So I don't wanna take that off. I like how this is coming up through here. I'm loving everything that's happening. When you get close and you look at this, there's like a lot actually going on in here. In the hot orchid. In the hot orchid, yeah. There's like a lot, there's like lightning streaks and stuff through here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is clean up my edges and we'll take you in for a close up. Awesome, let's do it. Okay, ladles and jelly spoons. So it's Lee. I'm going to use exactly the same colors that Jeremy has used, apart from one, which is I've added some pearl white to the lineup, uh, just because I wanted it, because there was a reason for me to put it in there. I'm gonna lighten the top of my cup up. Um, and I've put a little bit of the gold into the grayish blue to make this base coat. Now, you can't really tell a lot of difference just looking at it through the camera, but I can see with my eye this like shimmery kind of um, pearlescent almost to, to the to the bluish gray, so the grayish blue. So it's really, really pretty. So that's where I'm going to start. Now I am going to flip a cup on here. So um, I have a 16 ounce cup. This is a 20 by 20 inch canvas. I'm gonna layer my cup right here and I am gonna layer it. I'm not going to dirty layer it. Um, so Jeremy, I'm gonna go for it right here if that's okay. Go for it, I'm ready. So I'm gonna start off with some of the blue violet, which I really love. Let's put that next to some of the gold, not too much. Then the smalt hue, which has this really wonderful like bluey purpley color to it. Um, and then the grayish blue, which I really love. Um, and then back in with a bit more of the gold. Wow, it's a lot of gold. I know, I like my gold. Okay, let's go in with some hot orchid. All right, then let's do the blue violet. Then the bluish gray. Hmm. I'm gonna put a, this is where I'm gonna put my pearl white. Okay, and then back in with the gold. I guess it's gonna go on the bottom of the cup. Touch it up, look at it. Right, so that is my layered cup. Now, Jeremy, yes. I suggest you stand back. <laughs> because this may go everywhere. I got painting clothes on, Me too. I'm, I'm daring. We got our painting clothes on. Now this cup now has to get on this canvas. Okay, I'm not mad about that. No. Um, I don't mind a little bit of spillage, a little bit of leakage, but at least it landed on the canvas with not a lot of paint everywhere else. Okay, so now, because this cup was 16 ounces and there's probably about 12 or 13 ounces of paint in there, I am gonna leave it just for three or four minutes. The whole point of this is to let the paint that was at the bottom of the cup travel all the way down to the top of the cup because I really wanna get as much of this paint out here as possible. Now I decided not to put a pin in this one and release it yeah. because I'm going to release the paint out in yes. this one. Yeah, that's the way you see Jeremy do his flip cups when he does his marbling. So if you'll allow me, I'm just gonna let you guys go and then I'll bring you back in three minutes. All right, wonderful people, it's been three minutes. So let's release the beast that is this paint. Huh. Wow, that's really pretty. Okay, I'm not mad about it. I'm gonna let the paint travel just a little, just do its thing. I love the cells that are popping up. 
I love mm. the gold and the hot orchid cells which I are know. popping up. Really awesome. Um, all right, Jeremy, you know what time it is. It's tilting time. It's flip cup hot orchid tilting time. Let's do this. So I have this crazy screaming woman right in this canvas. Here's a neck and a chin. Here's the open mouth, eyelashes and the top of the forehead. I hope you can see that because it's so crazy obvious to me and I very rarely see things that obviously in my painting. <laughs> and then all this is like wavy kind of hair to me. Um, this was different than what I was thinking it was going to be, but I absolutely love it. Um, not only because I love the hot orchid with the greyish blue, but now I've got this screaming woman in my painting, which I hope stays there as she dries. Um, it's um, very molten, very lava, very, there's a lot of movement in this one. I love the big chunky cells. That hot orchid is a screaming woman to, to, to tame. 
and um, I don't think I did her justice right here but I do really love this piece and I hope that it stays exactly as it is right here. So I am going to get my edges and I'm going to take you guys in for a close-up. Yes. So there you have it. <laughs> there you have it. Why is that funny, big boy? <laughs> I, I knew you were going to say that. You say that every single time. I know. So there you have it. So there you have it. There you have it. Um, it was not necessarily unintentional that this pour was on this day. Yes. And that I got my singing lady in my composition. Yeah. Um, I hope you all saw it. Um, it was in the thumbnail and um, I know that you will have just seen it in the wet results as well. Um, it was very special. It's very unusual that I see something quite so pronounced in my pores. We'll pour something and you guys all shout and say, I see a leprechaun standing on a green leaf holding a can of beer. <laughs> and I'm like, what? I don't, I don't see it. But this time I really did see a, the side profile of a singing lady. So um, I think she was there especially for Mother's Day and I yes. really enjoyed it yeah. and I really enjoyed this pour um, that hot orchid and the greyish blue for me is just really awesome yeah I, I loved your pour thank you I thought it was great what about yours well mine I really really loved I loved the negative space of the gold that I left on mm -hmm. there um, that hot orchid and everything all the colors they really work together um, and I'm, I'm waiting to see what it's gonna look like whenever it's completely dry right so, but yeah, I'm I'm in love with it. And me too. I love that hot orchid. I love that you left the gold negative space because yeah. it wasn't intentional when we it wasn't. started to pour. It wasn't, no. Now again, because it's been a little hot and the studio, aka the garage is a little warm, these have not dried in time for us to show you yeah. the dried results. But we'll take you in to see the wet results one last time and look out for that side profile of that singing right. lady. So let us know what you thought. Yeah. Um, please do make a note in the comments. Ask us any questions that you want in the comments. If you like to share your art with us, please consider posting it on the Massey Art Studios Facebook page. Yes. Because we'd love to see all your art there too. You guys yeah. always tell us that you're doing really fun stuff. So please, please feel free to post it on the Massey Art Studio oh, page. Absolutely. And um, if, like I said earlier, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It would mean a lot to us. We've got some really fun pours coming up this week uh -huh. and the week today. You'll hopefully be joining us for the great Switcheroo. Switcheroo. The Switcheroo with Canella, with Tammy, and with BR Turner Art. So we've got some really fun pours coming up. Um, again, one last time, happy Mother's Day to you yes, all. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for being here with us if you are watching. We know you've got a very special day ahead. And from us, we appreciate you and we love and adore you all. Um, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, everyone, yeah. and uh, we'll see you back here on Tuesday for another fun pour. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Happy Mother's Day. Goodbye. So I want to take a moment to spank. Spank? <laughs> spank some very special people. <laughs> we want to take a moment to thank some very special people. Absolutely. And that's our 
Patreons. Patreons. So the Patreon account is a very separate account from YouTube, mm -hmm. but it allows some very important people the opportunity to get a little bit of a closer look of the studio. And there are certain levels. So at one level, for example, you get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos. Mm -hmm. At another level, you're invited to join us in a WhatsApp group where we chat, we exchange pictures, and you also get weekly painting challenges. In another level, you get um, once a month live streams. At another level, you get once a month tutorials that are live. Yes. And then at our top tier, the diamond level, you would get to pick the colors and the technique for an episode of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. And then you get to keep one of the 11 by 14 inch canvases every single month. So we have some awesome people that we'd like to take a moment to thank. And that is at the gold level, we have Janice Swansea, we have Jane Klein, we have Trisha West and Donna Patterson. We have Gloria Salaki, we have Nate Bright, Linda Serian, and Amy Gardner, who you all know as Crafty Chicken Mom. Yes, that's right. And on our platinum level, we have Leslie Beaver and Janice Pittman. And our one and only diamond level Massey Posse is Sparkles. Yay! AKA Laurie Finza. And We'd really love to say, we appreciate you all. Thank you so very much. And everyone else that's listed down here below, yes. thank you so much for being a Patreon. Absolutely. We really genuinely appreciate you. Thank you so very much. <laughs>